Quentin Tarantino, remember he announced he had an NFT project shortly after learning about what NFTs were at NFT NYC. So there's there's some more to this story. So he's continuing with the secret network NFT despite the lawsuit that Miramax brought against the collection. So a quick quick recap here. He announced that he was releasing a project that would be made up of s- seven, sorry, seven excerpts from Pulp Fiction's handwritten <laughs> screenplay. Miramax said that he didn't have the right to do this. Then he said he did according to his contract because he owns the rights to publish the screenplay. And Miramax said that they actually think that that falls outside of the categorization, now making the matter even a little more complicated. The NFTs are secret, so only the holders of the NFTs can view their content. So no one on Quentin Tarantino's team has responded to this lawsuit. They've said he's okay to move ahead since these NFTs are actually photographs of the handwritten screenplay with Tarantino's voiceover. So they're saying that it doesn't actually, um, it, it does, it's not actually covered by the contract. And this brings an interesting conversation that we've had on the show before. Web2 contracts overseeing Web3 products. So when this contract was written, I don't think anyone could have imagined that NFTs were going to come to life. Uh, Adam, I'm going to throw this to you as our NFT exer- expert. I can't speak English today. Expert on the show. <laughs> what What do you make of the story? I mean, Quentin Tarantino hasn't responded. It doesn't really seem like it's covered by the contract. Are we going to see um, companies like Miramax and Disney and Netflix making amendments to their contracts to cover Web3 products? I think that moving forward, we are going to see contracts that specifically carve out and identify rights around creating NFTs or other types of derivative products. As it stands right now, when you look at a situation like this, really what you're looking at is, as you said, a old contract that does not necessarily uh, reflect sort of common understandings. And so really what that means is that means the contract's still binding, right? the contract's still binding and it doesn't really apply to the given situation cleanly, then that means it's interpretation. And if it's interpretation, then that means that this lawsuit actually should tell us a lot. And I imagine that it will not be the last. I imagine that there will be a number of other lawsuits that will help define these rights and contracts in the future will be written specifically with these rights carved out. So there isn't this confusion, but there's this huge legacy. You know, as I mentioned kind of in the last segment, like, We're in a time right now where NFTs are in the process of going mainstream and many companies are starting to come online and do this. So yeah, I think that again, to the extent that there's valuable intellectual property in the background that people have disagreements over, they're going to want to turn it into NFTs and those NFTs are going to be legally contentious until we see some court results. Yeah, speaking of of that interpretation of the contract, I'm sorry, Zach, I'm going to throw it right to you. I just want to add one little tidbit. The CEO of Secret Labs said that Quinton has the rights and we've known he's had the rights the whole time. So we're excited to move forward with him. And just to your point, Adam, there's no way to actually know he has the rights. These contracts are all up to interpretation. And this is, I think this is going to be decided in, in a court of law, you know, who is more likely to have those rights and it's going to really inform how we move forward. But Zach, off to you. Ballsy move by Quentin Tarantino here. They have like their initial scheduling hearing set for like February 24th, according to legal documents. And this drop is happening like January 17th. So he's just like, yeah, whatever. No big deal. We're doing this. Come at me, bro. And uh, that that to me (laughs) is pretty funny. So uh, that's the game plan here from Quentin Tarantino and his team. Uh, This story is interesting. And I think we're probably going to see a third part to this saga. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but... Uh, This, to me, does not feel like the end of this story. We heard from the legal team representing Miramax, and that is in this piece. Go check it out. We also heard from Quentin's team and his supporters over at Secret Network. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those litmus tests of how how ultimately this gets seen. But, uh, yeah, going to be interesting. I bet there's going to be a part three here. Adam, I feel like you had something to say. You took in a deep breath, and then nothing (laughs) came out. (laughs) <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, like I said, the the kind of moment that we're in right now is really exciting to me. Again, like NFTs and like tokens that are used for non-currency purposes, like that's something I've been excited about since literally January of 2014 and started working on projects like this at that point. And so again, that feels like a really long time ago. But if you think about the type of stuff that I was doing at that point versus the type of stuff we're talking about now on this show and the types of players who are involved, I mean, you can't get much bigger and more kind of pop mainstreamy as far as like cultural zeitgeist than, you know, someone like Quentin Tarantino and the movie Pulp Fiction. So again, like it's a beautiful moment. I'm just enjoying it. 
Let's get to so, uh, let's get favorite uh, fa- favorite Tarantino films on the record. I'm gonna put you guys on the spot. Uh, Jen, what's your fave? Adam, what's your fave? Oh, oh, favorite Quentin. That's a hard question, Zach. <laughs> oh. Uh, I think it, uh, no, I do know some. Control is so rude. Wow, they just said just, I don't know any. That's true. I can confirm. I confirm. I was going to say Django and Chained. There you go. There you go. That's legit. I, I'm going to yeah. go ahead and be boring and just say Pulp Fiction. Honestly, the classics well, for me. Yeah. It's got it's got all the best lines. I will. I it's will one of my favorite that. Bruce Willis. Anyways, that kills with the soundtrack. Pulp Fiction for Kill the lines. Bill. 